Hello there and um, welcome to this video um, about the Schneider Electric um, Act 9 Digital Programmable Timer and uh, I hope this video is going to be a short one so let's just quickly so when you open the box this is what you see in the box and um, you see this manual and the screen but for for, for, for time's sake let's just quickly run through um, i've already gone through almost everything in the manual and, and i'm also very familiar with this product so let's just kick start straight so um i have already programmed with um was before coming to the field to to work and um when you click so as you can see the time now this is what is there and um it's already working so um he said there is no no means but that's because we have not put in the voltages here so this is your input voltage that, that will close the relay the live and the neutral then you get your switches out um, it's a one-way two-way switch so um you have two 230 volt relay coil and 50 or or 60s then um, you can do a maximum of uh, 10 amps yes with this with time about uh, anything above the 10 amps then it means you you, you need an uh, intermediary to operate it so um these are, are some of the informations that you might need and is a an original product which i got from the schneider agent from our country here and is very expensive um, over two hundred dollars. So um, quickly, um, let's start. So when you press the menu, so you can see that um, you can use the menu as an escape. Then the OK, then the um, arrows here. But um, I've already done some programming. Um, so let's go and just um, delete everything so that, for the sake of this video. We just um, re restart everything. So I'm just deleting all. So yes, let me confirm. Everything is deleted. So um, when you when you get it first, um, you have to set um, the timer, the time. Um, you set the time and also the date. Which I, I have already done. That. So let's go and, and let's just do the the programming that I do. So um, I come, um, I press the menu, I click OK, then I click New. Then I click on the New. So I have um, 56 uh, uh, memories that I, uh, I can program. So now I'm coming to pro uh, program for the on. So um, what I'm going to automate um, is the extractor fan so we need it to come on at 7 a.m in the morning so as you can see it is 7 a.m then okay then um, just 7 uh, that is on monday i say okay then i will just copy the same thing then i will still press the okay and then i'll just add tuesday then I'll add Wednesday, okay. I'll add Thursday, okay. And I'll add Friday, okay. But on a Saturday is a different time, so we will leave that one for now. Then I will click on the uh, plus sign. Then it say add Sunday, no. I'll click on the plus sign again. Then it says save. Then I said yes. Then I'll go over again. Then I'll click on new. Um, I have 55 free more left, but this one. It, is for the off so I said okay so then uh, I needed to go off at then uh, every 6 p.m. in the night so I click okay okay on a Monday yes it should go off then I'll copy the same program again okay then I'll add it to Tuesday okay then I'll add it to Wednesday okay I'll add it to Thursday and I'll add it to Friday but on a Saturday, just as I said, um, it's a different time. So we'll just click on the plus, add Sunday, no. 
then I'll save. So now we are going to set the time for the Saturday. So I'll still click on the, on the news. So as you can see now, I, am, I have a 54. So on, so on a Saturday, I want it to come on at the 9 a.m. since the uh, since the office is not that busy. 9 a.m. So not on Monday. So I'll keep skipping Tuesday. I'll keep for going for Thursday, Friday. And Saturday then I'll click OK so it asks me to copy no so I'll just click on the plus sign here then I'll save then I'll go uh, again on the new so that's the off state so I'm um, at the off state um, I need it to go off at um, 4 p.m. on every Saturday then I'll click OK, zero minute, not on Monday, not on Tuesday, not on Thursday, not on Friday, on a Saturday, then I'll click OK. Copy, no, then I'll save. So then I'll just press the menu, then I'll go back, and my timer is done. So and basically this is how uh, I have set it, but then I, I can go back and just check everything, the time and date, the manuals, the configuration, and stuff. So when um, I come to the program and I click OK, I can either add a new one or check uh, check the the programs that are set on it, or uh, I can also modify it or delete it um, a single program or all programs. Then I'll end. So, um, but for the sake of time, basically you can just go through everything so if i click on to check you see monday uh, if i click on the check i have monday okay next monday okay next tuesday so it keep going and on and on and on until you check everything so the same way i can come and just uh, just, just mo modify some of the programs on it and then we are done I can't believe that we've just gone this far with the times. Okay, so for the sake of time, I hope you really enjoy it and then you've taken some lessons and some notes. Thank you very much and have a nice day.